What's going on? It's April 28th and I wasn't going to do a daily vlog or a weekly vlog, but I just felt like I had to make a video. It's another week in quarantine with this pandemic going on, but something really kind of in the past week or two has been hitting me. Of course, people are saying, you know, what do you miss the most? Uh, this and that. Of course, for me, it's being around people. But it's a lot of the little things are starting to add up for me as well. And maybe not little in the sense to some people, but like little in the whole world, you know, world situation, world view of things. And you know, like for example, today we went out and we went, we just, we just drove to our friend James and Sarah's place because their daughter, Ellie, it's her birthday today. We drove by their place and talked to them from a distance. And I don't know, there's something about that, you know, it's good. It was great that we could see them, but there's just something to that that, you know, made me a little sad that we couldn't celebrate in person with the kids playing. Um, it's kind of sad, you know? And then the other day I was talking to my buddy Matt and I was just saying, thinking, oh, you know, some of the seniors at Penn, especially we've known for the past f three or four years, they're going to be graduating and leaving soon. And we haven't had a chance to, how do I say it, celebrate them, have some kind of celebration for them. And I just felt so, such sadness in my heart for that. We are gonna have a virtual celebration meeting this coming up Friday, but it's not the same. I, I, I wish we could honor these ones and just celebrate having them here with us these past couple of years in person, but we couldn't do it. Uh, we had a virtual dinner <laughs> with the brothers and I uh, treated them out to dinner uh, but I had to pick up the food, drop it off at their place. We got the same stuff and we ate together via Zoom. And we're going to do the same with some of the sisters this Thursday. But it just put some sense of sadness in me that we, this is our new reality and this is what we're going through. Again, I will say, I, f I thank God that I'm fortunate enough to be where I'm at. I have a job, I have food, I have all these things. Um, I have my health. Again and again, we had to put these things into perspective, but you know, these little things uh, really start to you know, weigh you down. And so anyway, there are other big things. My, my friend's dad passed away. He can't have a more memorial service for him. Uh, same with my my friend's grandma, you know, they can't have the same memorial service for her. So these kind of things, uh, it's a real harsh reality, but our faith is strong still. Our faith needs to be strong in God and just to trust in what he's doing in these days. So anyway, I hope we're taking care of one another, especially as some states start to open. Uh, you know, I have some mixed feelings about that, but stay safe, be smart, stay at home, stay indoors, and as much as possible, stay in touch with each other. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.